Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be primarily about Prince uh, Faza and his uh, son just turned one years old. So we'll peek in on Prince Faza and see what's happening with him and his family. But we're going to end up, of course we have to, back on some new Trump terrible news. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, you know, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So we're going to jump right in and start with the Prince Faza. I think it's amazing. Seems to be like what that part of the world needs. And um, I haven't criticized the um, regime or the leadership or the government uh, over there. And I don't think I will. Um, but it is interesting to see how this prince is uh, shaping up. And it'll be, uh, you know, interesting to see uh, what we can find out about his family just by asking the cards and uh, focusing on his son's uh, first birthday. I mean, there's a lot of emotions around a time like that, so hopefully there's some, some feelings that we can tap into. But then we're going to finish up with today's bad news, you know, the terrible Trumps. So um, that's what the video will be about. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment, you know, for meditation. Okay, so Prince Faza, son, one year. Beautiful kid, beautiful child. I saw the picture online. Um, interesting to me how that they keep everything so quiet uh, about their personal lives. Um, are all royal families like that? I'm not sure. And is this uh, royal family good? I, I don't know. I haven't looked into them to see uh, if there are people that I would like or not. But uh, let's just get three cards to see if we can just tune into um, Prince Faz's uh, psyche right now. See where he's at, maybe a little spiritually. I don't know what else is going on politically or with the rest of his family. So all I know is that his son had a birthday. And he's the uh, an important son, I understand. So the first card uh, for this one is going to be the Four of Wands. Well, that's interesting because you think of a birthday and you think of a, a celebration. And the Four of Wands is considered, you know, wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the Four of Wands can be considered, you know, a small celebration on towards something bigger. So interesting card to be the first one out of the pack. What's on uh, Prince Faz's mind? Uh, next thing we have here is the Page of Cups. So this is interesting, you know, cups are emotions, heartfelt situations, and the page is just a, a message of that uh, coming to the court to say, you know, don't forget about this thing. I, th again, very uh, appropriate that we have a short-term celebration and, you know, a reminder who this little prince uh, is. So the final thing on, on Prince Faza's mind is uh, now what do we have here oh, okay one two three four of swords swords of truth uh, justice rules and law and the four of swords is uh, this person here has to be very careful about getting up quickly because these swords could hurt him and he's even holding on to this one sword and remember these truth justice rules and law and whatever this sword represents he's holding it by the blade so this is an uncomfortable situation that you have to be careful so again it's perfectly yeah if, if thinking about his son's first birthday he's thinking about his place in his in the hierarchy there and how everything has to be handled so beautifully and carefully hmm interesting that that seems to be what's on his mind instead of something more personal and who's to say it's not? I mean, you know, I just read these cards. So that's interesting. So is this uh, son, is this child going to play a major part in the future of that country? Because, you know, countries can disappear over a lifetime. This child, this son, will he be a major part of the future of this country? That son. Let's see what the cards are going to tell us. First card up is King of Cups. Oh yeah, he's going to be a king. 
and it's going to be a compassionate one. Wow. If, if I didn't get any of the cards, that's a great card to get. King of Cups. Uh, next card for him is, uh, oh, that's very interesting too. This is, uh, so the Four of Cups, again, emotional situation. This is kind of being offered something you really don't quite want. Appropriate. Appropriate, really. And then the last thing is uh, strength. Fuerza, strength. Yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah, he's going to play a major part. It'll be a burden, but he'll t handle it with strength. Very interesting. Probably just like this prince sees this as something that was um, cast on him that he wouldn't have asked for. And now will this prince, the current prince Faza, the current, the current prince Faza, not the son, but the prince himself, will he find true personal happiness? This current prince, will he find true personal happiness? Six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will this Prince Paza find true personal happiness? Let's see what the cards are going to tell us. Signifier card. Okay, so ah, uh, so what is this one? I have to count these uh, these. Uh, the wands here, so actions, plans, forward movement. You see a face right here represented. So this it looks like a very uncomfortable card. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, the ten is a lot to carry. It's a big bundle of issues, problems to carry. Uh, will he find personal happiness? Look, he's got a lot. Of, the signifier of this is that he's got a lot of problems, uh, a lot of burdens, a lot of things to keep on his mind. He will have even more and more as years go by. Uh, including how his son is going to be able to take over after him. You've got to believe that's another word. But the challenge to that even is, okay, so this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of cups. Uh, heartfelt, emotional situation. And a 9 of cups is sometimes called the uh, greedy merchant. But it's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is the 9 of pentacles. Not 9 of cups, 9 of pentacles. So it's along the same lines because 9 of pentacles is really um, having everything that you need, just being fully lavished with any uh, human comfort that you would want. Oh yeah, that's an absolute perfect challenge to the seriousness of his born situation. The basis of all of this then is, oh yeah, the value that he does carry. This is the uh, ace of pentacles value. And the, the basis of this whole thing is about his value and what it's gonna mean in the future. The past of this though is the is wands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of wands. Oh yeah. So the past of this is, um, just a lot of, of, of issues. Uh, the sky this reading then is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, that's interesting. So anything can happen in the future. So we talk about the, the future of that country, uh, its existence, um, the royal family's prominence, uh, and, or uh, being even more prominent than it is now. All of that's up in the future. And then the final outcome for uh, uh, Prince Faz's personal happiness, and it all seems about work actually, is this page of coins. Ah, page of coins. His future happiness is going to depend on a little messenger of value. That's his son. He's going to find his future happiness in the success of his son. That's what I see there. That's beautiful. Now, let's go to the ugly. Let's talk about uh, the terrible trumps. The terrible trumps. We're going to talk about the three of them, the major ones that are involved in uh, all this legal uh, mumbo jumbo. Uh, Daddy. Uh, junior and uh, the dumb one <laughs> so daddy Donnie and Eric uh, those uh, trumps uh, let's do in one pull here two cards for each of them to kind of get a feel for where they're at so daddy okay Donnie that's junior and Eric to right together right there. So let's get a feeling for where these folks are right now. Daddy. Okay, so what is this? This is the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of coins. Seven of coins is always wondering, have I done enough? And you have to think he's looking over his shoulder every single minute worrying that he has has he done the right thing in this problem in this problem and imagine your life if you had all these uh issues 
and running to be president of the United States, um, and then just conducting whatever kind of a personal life you might have. Imagine that. Always looking over your shoulder. So yeah, that's uh, the main thing that's defining him right now. And then the next card for him is that he's the star. Okay, so that's Daddy. Yeah, he's uh, in the spotlight with all of his issues all the time. Now, uh, Donnie. This is Junior. So what is this about for him? Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, the five of wands. Wands are actually plans for movement. And uh, this is argy bargy. This is endless, pointless arguing, fighting issues that don't aren't going to mean anything in the end. Um, hmm, that's where he's at right now. And the next one for him is the ace. Oh no, this is the two of pentacles. So it's a balancing act for him. Okay, nobody's comfortable. And then let's see about uh, Eric. Eric is the king of plans. Okay, he's he may we think he's the dumb one, but I think maybe he's not. And, um, and then he's the son. He may be the one that comes out of this in the very end, um, the least scathed and, uh, and build that name back up. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't like uh, knowing that. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna do really quickly on the, on the three of them, uh, one card each if, if they're gonna do uh, actual jail time, one card each if they're gonna do actual uh, jail time. Uh, Daddy, Donnie, and Eric. Are they going to do actual <coughs> jail time? Daddy, Donnie, and Eric. They're going to do actual jail time. Huh. Let's see. Okay. Daddy, actual jail time. Knight of Wands. He is the fighter for his actions. It looks like he's got a good chance of not going to jail. Donnie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Familial, uh, generational value. He may get out of it too. And uh, Eric, hello, <laughs> the fool. A new journey though. The fool is starting out on a new journey. And I'm gonna tell you, that's what I just said a minute ago. It may be that he's the one that comes out of this and is able to carry on with some kind of a new journey, new identity, you know, well into the future, you know, after um, all of this has a chance to settle. Remember those, those guys have inherited um, close to $30 million, $25 million from their mother's death. And um, so they've got something to fall back on and they've only had to pay very little in millions uh, for million for multi-millionaires uh, in their cases so that's what i got today hey i'm going to show you the cards now hang on a minute okay so i got these great cards and if you ever doubted that i'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards then this will confirm it so these cards are by famed artist salvador dolly he includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife. And they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price well, it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Toshin has re... Um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, You've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So um, lovely, lovely book, amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, 
Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark, and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So... Like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so... There's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in the, in a reading and um, and enjoy that. And then, like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards, and then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the in the reading. So Salvador Dali amazing, worth every penny I paid for these.